couple ways you can create tracks. You can go up under Tracks to New. I do want to point out up here, if you look in the File menu, it says Shift Apple N, if you notice that on the right hand side. That is what we call a key command or a quick key. These are ways for you to interface with your computer without actually having to navigate through a mouse. So memorizing and utilizing these key commands are going to really speed up the process and it'll help get the software out of your way and allow you to get your ideas down into the computer as quickly as possible. So um, you don't want to have to keep mousing around or searching for menu items. You always want to make sure that you know these these ones by scratch. If you look under your help menu, you will find keyboard shortcuts. This opens up your preview window and this you can go through and it will show you all the different key commands. So let's go ahead and first create uh, the different types of tracks we can use and then we can sort of go through and, and we'll have a look at the, the rest of everything else. Up here I'm just going to go to new and this brings up a dialog box. Now I can go through how many, how many tracks do I want to create. Well, Let's start off with one stereo audio track. And you can look at it in samples or in ticks. Uh, samples are the smallest el uh, element or um, factor. It's the smallest degree of an audio file. A tick is MIDI based. So we'll look at that. We'll keep it in samples for right now. So let's say I wanted to create another type of track. I can hit Create and just keep hitting that Create Track, Shift Apple N. But you'll notice down here you have these plus buttons where you can kind of go through and configure what tracks you want. So I can create uh, an aux input track, I can create a master fader, a MIDI track, and uh, let's create an instrument track. My instrument track I'll make stereo, my aux input I'm going to make stereo, and uh, my master fader I definitely want as stereo. So I'm basically creating one of each type of track that we have available in Pro Tools. So there we have it. Audio, instrument, auxiliary, master, and MIDI. So what I'm going to do is grab this master fader and just drag it down so it's at the bottom. Uh, the reason why I like to do this, depending on the order that you have your tracks here, that will reflect what it looks like in your mixer window. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Command Equals. If I hit that, it brings up my Mixer window. This is the key command, by the way. If you look under Windows, you can switch between your Edit and your Mix window this way. So here you can see our, our what looks like the Pro Tools Mixer. This is the Mix window. It shows us channel faders. On the channel faders, you'll see pan pots. You'll see your volume faders. You'll see solo, mute, and record arm for that particular track. Depending on what type of track it is, your MIDI track, you'll notice we don't really have any insert effects. Um, but on all of the rest of the tracks, we have audio, instruments, and auxiliary tracks. We have inserts and sends, which we'll be investigating how we can use all of those uh, once we get to the mix portion of our DVD. And finally, the master fader. This is your stereo bus. You'll notice all of the outputs of our devices, or at least of our audio devices, are routed to output one and two. And uh, our master fader is also routed to output one and two. So this will control the overall level of everything. Also, our master fader is how we can add a stereo compressor, meaning we can compress the entire mix as a whole. So we'll talk about that when we get to the mix portion. Go back to our edit page. Let's just very quickly go through the main file menu up at the top. The first thing that you're going to want to do is check under your preferences. Let's go ahead and open this up. So here you'll see dis uh, your display, which we're just going to keep everything as their default. And we can move through some of these. There's your um, operation. Automatically create new playlist while loop recording. That's an option that you're probably going to want to change. Uh, make sure this is on. This will allow you to, as you're recording audio in loop cycle, which we'll look at in just a little bit, uh, you'll be able to create a number of takes and then you can sort of comp the takes together, which is kind of cool. That's new in LE8. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Next thing we'll look at is our file menu. This is a, a basic, you know, just like any other program. This is where you're going to open, close sessions, find recent sessions, anything that's been opened. 
save. This is also where you can save a template. You can go through and create a number of tracks. Maybe you want four audio tracks, four software instrument tracks, two auxes, and a master fader. And you want that to always open up as your stock, as your, as your, uh, as your base template, as your song start. So once you create that and you like the way it looks, you can save that as a template.